Oh, What's boy. inside? Two men asked plaintiff to sign a document, which plaintiff did not read, an but NDA. which she now- I'm not gonna lie, bro. If I ever went to a celebrity's party and I had to sign an NDA to get in, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. F*** you mean I gotta sign an NDA just to get into your party? Nigga, I'm out! Huh? So over the last couple of months, things have gotten very dark for Diddy. Essentially, it's been like the end of the movie Goodfellas. Jay-Z just got the guys caught up in that shit too. finally over and the feds are coming to get them. Only for Diddy, this is his real life. And now he has over 120 <laughs> alleged victims who have come forward, men, women, and individuals who like, were children bro, 120, at the time of the bro? criminal activity. Basically all coming together to allege some downright disgusting, inhumane things this man allegedly did. You gonna hear about my party, they're gonna be shutting them down, they're gonna probably be arresting me. Obviously after his houses were raided, Damn, that clip didn't age well at all, bro. We found out more information, like the 100 terabytes of data that Diddy had in his possession that many suspect Hold to be- Hold on, 100 terabytes, bro? 100 terabytes. A various blackmail for various extortion. They also seized evidence of the freak offs electronic devices that contain images and videos thousand of pound the bottles of baby oil victims. 100 terabytes and of, course, of footage thousands of bottles of baby oil that Jeez. went super viral and they seize cases and cases of the kinds of personal lubricant and baby oil that combs the staff allegedly used to stock hotel rooms for the freak offs more than 1000 bottles altogether in terms of trying to get out of this, Diddy has requested and failed to get bail three different times, and due to witness tampering, it looks like this man will be seeing his last days behind bars. And of course, when it comes to these freak-offs that Diddy was hosting, there were thousands of celebrities and other high-profile- Bro, remember what I said at the, uh, in the, 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 the Luigi video, bro? It, at some point, your karma will always come full circle, bro. For Diddy, it took a few years, a lot of years, but it happened. Like I said, bro, at some point, whatever you put out into the universe, you get it back. That's all I'm saying, bro. Individuals attending the events, whether that be well good or thousands bad, thousands of potential victims who were exploited by Diddy and his massive team. Wow. Okay, I've got a lot. I can't tell. Ashton Kutcher's. So, um, Ashton Kutcher. <sighs> Can't tell that one either. <laughs> Over the last 40 years, many people have been very close associates Ugh. with Diddy, as he is one of the biggest business moguls in the entertainment industry, and really did hold the keys to many artists' careers. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Patrick CC dropped a video about Drake, and it's like an hour, almost two hours long. I'm gonna dedicate an entire stream to that video, bro. I'm not even lying. Over the last four decades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's no secret that his right-hand man for this entire Jay period Z. of time has almost always been Sean Carter, aka Hove, aka Jay-Z. The fact that they both have the same first name is nuts. Who is also one of the biggest business moguls to come out of music as well. Just seems just such a charismatic person. And we've had that in common for a while, but we always was competitive with each other as well. In a lot of ways, P. Diddy and Jay-Z laid the blueprint, no pun intended, on how to go from a dope rapper, a talent evaluator, and really start doing big business where you achieve actual ownership and stake in these companies who are making money from you. Savage! I'm a savage! Oh! I'm a savage! Whatever I want, I'm going to get! Whatever I want, I have to get! And now Jay-Z has been listed in... Terribly aged footage, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Many complaints against Diddy, and so today we're gonna talk about it. So all of the cases against Diddy so far have been filed by a lawyer named Tony Busby. His name might sound familiar as he has represented clients in several high-profile cases. He is the Busby. one who helped all of those women file against Deshaun Watson years ago. Oh, and shit. And he was also involved in the case where people died during the Travis Scott concert. Oh, shit. Tony is representing an anonymous Astro source World here shit. who claims she was physically violated by P. Diddy, Jay-Z, and an unnamed female celebrity back in the year 2000 at a Video Music Awards after party. On or around September 7th, 2000, plaintiff, then 13 years old, had a friend drive and drop her off near Radio Music City Hall in New York City so she could try and attend the VMAs. They say she arrived at the venue, saw a large crowd, but could not sneak her way inside. Mm. But determined to get into the VMAs or an after party, she approached several limo drivers parked nearby and attempted to talk her way into entering. One of the limousine drivers she I spoke to- I feel like shit claimed, doesn't even look like that anymore. I feel like back then when you seen like VMAs and shit and you saw all the celebrities arriving and all the people out there, like it looked mad cool. 
Nowadays, you don't even see that shit. It's just like, mm. To work for defending Combs, the driver allegedly told her that Combs liked younger girls and said that she fit what Diddy was looking for. And while not allowing her into the awards, the driver invited her to the after party. The Patrick driver stated C. C. Never that he put had that to in his video. Combs and others to the after party first, but instructed the plaintiff to return to his location after the event and that he would pick her up and take her to the after party. And so the plaintiff then claims here that the limo driver took Diddy and possibly his entourage to this after party and then did actually circle around back to pick her up. After oh, approximately shit. 20 minutes, plaintiff arrived at what she believed to be a large white residence with a gated U-shaped driveway. Oh, Once boy. inside, two men asked plaintiff to sign a document, which plaintiff did not read, An but NDA. which she now believes to have been a non-disclosure agreement, oh, and she claims shit. she was told she could not discuss what happened at this party. She says that once she was inside the party, there were a ton of celebrities all around, with substances being used in abundance. And I'm not gonna lie, bro, if I ever went to a, a, a celebrity's party, and I had to sign an NDA to get in, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Fuck you mean I gotta sign an NDA just to get into your party? Nigga, I'm out. Saying that wait staff circled the room. I already to make know sure there's some fuck shit happening if I gotta hands. sign an NDA. After attempting to talk to numerous celebrities, plaintiff Crazy. accepted a drink from one of the waitresses circling the crowd. The drink was a reddish yellow mixture that tasted like orange juice, cranberry juice, and something bitter. After drinking just a portion of that drink, plaintiff began to feel woozy and lightheaded, making her need to lie down. Mm -mm. A photograph of the actual exemplary container used by Combs and or his agents and employees to insert GHB into alcoholic drinks is seen below. And I assume this was something that was seized when his house was raided. Looking for a place to rest, plaintiff walked down what appeared to be a hallway. Drugging everyone at your parties is crazy. What appeared to be an empty bedroom so she could lie down for a moment. This room contained only a large bed with no furniture of any other kind. This is when she says Jay-Z, P. Diddy, and an unnamed female celebrity allegedly entered the room. Combs aggressively approached plaintiff with a crazed look in his eye, grabbed her and said, You are ready to party. And I will spare you guys some of the details, but she basically claims that Jay-Z and P. Diddy then took turns violating her while each other watched on with this unnamed female celebrity. After both of them- After Carter finished, he stepped back toward the wall. Combs then stepped forward and vaginally R-worded plaintiff while Carter and Celebrity B watched. Combs then knocked plaintiff down and attempted to force plaintiff to perform oral sex on him. She fought back, standing up quickly and punching out the same, punching out at the same time, hitting Combs in the neck. Taken aback, Combs stopped his attempt. I'm allegedly engaged in this violation. Combs then allegedly knocked the plaintiff down and attempted to force the plaintiff to perform more acts on him. She fought back, standing up quickly and punching out at the same time. Hitting Combs no, in his he neck, read this, taking so. him back, Combs stopped his attempt. When Combs backed away in surprise, plaintiff grabbed her clothes and shoes and ran out of the bedroom. Holding her dress in front of her like a towel, she ran around the residence until she found the front door and was able to leave the party. She then claims that she retraced her residence until she found the front Oh, I was about to say, was there no one else at the party? Although there were other guests still at the party, no one appeared to take notice of plaintiff's distress or attempted to help her. L, 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 L. She then claims that she retraced her way all the way back to a gas station. She calls her father, tells him what happened, and he comes to pick her up. L so now she is seeking damages for this bro. event. Jay-Z was expecting for this information to be released to the public, and he did reply with an immediate statement. My lawyer received a blackmail attempt, called a demand letter from a lawyer named Tony Busby. What he had calculated Nothing. was the nature of these Lawyer. allegations and the public scrutiny would make me want to settle. No, sir, it had the opposite effect. It made me want to expose you for the fraud you are in a very public fashion. So no, I will not be giving you one red penny. Jay-Z then goes on to adamantly deny these allegations, mm. even encouraging Tony to file a criminal complaint and says that this is all basically an attempt to destroy his reputation and extort him for money, even adding that he himself had sued Tony alleging a blackmail attempt to reach a settlement. Tony Look responded by saying around. that in the demand letter initially sent to Jay-Z, there was no request for money, and that Jay-Z had apparently harassed both him and his client during the time period between the demand letter and the present. Both men seem to think that the other has no ground to stand on and is more concerned with their personal reputations than anything else. 
And now just today, Jay-Z's lawyer is actually requesting the judge require this accuser to come forward and reveal herself to the public, saying that if no. she wants to- No! Ruin Jay-Z's reputation like this and get money from doing so, she should have to make herself known in making such a damning allegation. So now we're really just gonna have to wait and see what happens here. No! Judge, don't allow that! Don't allow that! The second she names, the second she becomes known, them niggas are gonna go assassinate her, probably! Do not do that! Here, I really have a hard time seeing them being able to prove this allegation, especially with it allegedly occurring almost 25 years ago. Obviously, the most important witnesses here would be the limo driver, the gas station clerk, and possibly the father of the then alleged 13-year-old girl, as well as possibly some people who were there that night at that party. Like I said before, Jay-Z has been P. Diddy's right-hand man for the last 30 years, so you would think where there was smoke, there would be some fire. Like, you can yeah. honestly not sit here and convince me that there's absolutely no way that he knew that his best buddy was into some absolutely diabolical shit. It That's was no fact. secret in the industry, and the possibility that Jay-Z might have witnessed it up close and personal is not out of the realm of possibility. It's like everyone who was heavily affiliated with Epstein, many people obviously do not trust at this point. So who knows, this could be the tip of the That's iceberg of all the weird shit that has been going on in the entertainment business for hundreds of years. Like I said before, over 120 people have come forward with their stories regarding Diddy's criminal activity, so there could potentially be hundreds of celebrities involved, or at least being accused of being involved in several of these incidents. But obviously I want to know what you guys think down below. I will continue to cover this story regarding Jay-Z and especially Diddy. Either way, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video, dropping a like and subscribing. But as you guys know, it's Benny Boy the Tan Superman. Some other cases out here need to be covered, so I'm out. I don't know. They're just allegations at this point, so I actually have no clue.